This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, when it's verse 5. And it reads, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kohaloyim, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Racha, Kodash, Rakatham. I want to say double honors to my apostles and to my elders. The, the heads of the great millstone who teach and do real well. Peace and salutations to the Akim. Across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Tell them on to the Akwa and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Tell them on to the Israelite corner scattered abroad. Now the land of other nations, which appear like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth, to you. I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the Spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And uh, basically, this um, article, well, I, I came across this article on RT, you know, RT News, in regards to uh, Russia mass producing this new ICBM. And, um, you know, scriptures actually talk about, you know, um, you know, the second death, which will be required. You know, the third world war or the third woe will be uh, fought with, you know, inter inter intercontinental ballistic missiles. And, you know, that's why you have all this tension in the atmosphere and in, in, in the air, this vibration of, you know, Russia talking about, um, um, the, the weaponry that they possess and what they're willing and how willing how far they're willing to go you know um you know um it's a spirit because the brother just did a video of not just one brother multiple brothers did a video about um new york they're actually um having nuclear um uh, basically nuclear preparedness drills which like the elder um uh, brother the elder brother amawan gabar said i mean in actuality if a nuclear devices to go off is no real preparation that you can do you know the only thing you can do is you know trust in y'all about you you know uh, the evidence that they showed you with um Hirosh hiroshima and nakasaki you know um when they dropped those nuclear weapons in the back in the day you know those atomic bombs and that was like um considered primitive to the technology they have today i mean they, Intercontinental continent, the intercontinental, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, the, the nuclear weapons that they possess today are far more advanced. You know, um, I'm gonna bring out a little bit of this article. Laura Willie is edified. It's a lot to it. and it does read. Russia gears up for mass production of Sarmat ICBM, Roscosmos. The state of the art missile is also being prepared for a new prepared for new test, Russian space chief says. Dmitry Rogozin, the head of Russia's Roscosmos Space Agency, said on Tuesday that the new Sarmat nuclear capable intercontinental ballistic missile is being prepared for a series of tests and mass productions. The world's most powerful global range nuclear tip missile is being prepared for new tests and serial production. Robozine wrote on Telegram in early July, the Rose Cosmos chief inspected the crush mosh crash mash crash mash plant in the city of crash no cars crash crash no car carts in eastern Siberia. I'm, I probably butchered all that to check on the efforts to continue testing and ensure that serial production is successfully launched. Reads in May, he spoke about the Sarmat's offensive capabilities, saying that it can de it can demolish half the coast of some large continent. And when you take the time to think about what he said, you know, with America and Russia are right now and not seeing eye to eye, they are at odds. What continent could you think that they're talking about? You know, Scripture prophesies how this place is going to have a missile shot upon it. You know, um, should a nation decide to take aggressive stance towards Russia? 
When Sarmat ICBM was first successfully tested, launched on April 20th from the Plus Plus Tis, Plus Tis Cosmo drone in Arc Hasklik region, the new missile is expected to enter active combat duty by the end of 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin said in late June. The ICBM is set to replace the older Vo Vivoda systems, also known by the NATO reporting name SS-18 Satan. So that's the eight. That's Satan. That's one of the Satan Because I know you had Satan one and Satan two, and then the bride of Satan or Satan's wife or some shit like that. Like, <laughs> so I didn't know that. So they got a. Now, if you ever seen any um testing of that Satan missile, that was a devastating missile. If this missile is, you know, the upgrade to that. Just imagine if they said it could take out a half of. They said one missile could take out a continent, half of a continent. According to an earlier statement from Rogozin, the Sarmat dub the Satan II is the most powerful missile of its class in terms of range and warheads and is designed to be invincible to all existing air defenses. So, um, with that all being said, it's just a preview um, of things to come, you know, because we in that time of, um, you know, of war you know scriptures talk about in the book of ecclesiastes there's a time for war and a time for peace and we're going into the time of war you know scriptures talk about um you know uh there's a time appointed for the end of all things and we're beginning to see um that now with you know all these different nations bucking up to america um you know look at the conditions of the world with you know just uh the people up in uproars and uh, what's that second ezra chapter nine uh, verse three you know, uh, you know, like with the situation with the uh, people of Sierra Leone, basically breaking into the per the premises of the the the, the, the uh, president, and that's going to happen and take place here as well. You know, you got to remember Sierra Leone; they was actually attacking the citizens. They was um, doing lethal force. You know, in China, you had citizens basically just uh, up in arms because they couldn't access their. Um, Finances, their 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 deposits in the bank, and basically the government beat the shit out of them. You know what I mean? You know, but eventually, you get you got to understand that's what that whole zombie apocalypse situation is. You know, they're they're conditioning the soldiers to look at the people as zombies. You know. Now, if it's something more as far as because you know you did have people take that concoction. You know, um, you got movies like Kingsman where. People then took shit and then that frequency was turned on and they bugged the fuck out. And, you know, when you take time to look at some of the stuff going on in the world, you know what I mean? It, 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 I mean, yeah, people bugging out, you know what I mean? You got, it tells you in the scriptures that uh, violence was going to increase in the last days and we we're seeing that. So, um, I'm going to just bring out a few scriptures that go into the ICBMs. Because, like I said, this last, or the, this World War Three will be shot with missiles, you know, these ICBMs. Um, so it's the book of Second Peter, chapter three. Um, I'm gonna start at verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, and you know, um, scriptures that talk about um, you know the prophecies, the different prophecies when you go into. Um, What's that? Second Ezra nine, and, and, and you know, um, you know, um, um, Ecclesiasticus of the Book of Sirach, chapter thirty nine. You know, these different books go into prophecies, and prophecies, um, scriptures foretell about um, being a nuclear war. You know, um, so that's one of the promises. You know, um, you know, these prophecies or these tokens. You know, <laughs> these signs. <laughs> The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering toward Salakia, but is long suffering to us ward, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord, Yahweh, uh, Shem Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, because you're gonna have people that's gonna be still stuck in the world. They're gonna be paying attention to what's going on in the world. They're not gonna be paying attention to the signs, the tokens, you know, 
they're not going to be seeking the Lord. They're going to be seeking the world, you know. And that's why it tells you in the scriptures that we are not of the world, you know. You know, if we are um, of the world, the love, the world will love its own. We not of the world. That's why we're despised and hated. And, and, and people, you know, basically, uh, we, we, we go through tribulation with the world, actually, you know. Uh, it says, in the, the, the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What particular weapon can actually melt the elements? You know, you got different kind of elements. You got, you know, certain irons and, you know, metals, you know. Um, shit, it, it, they talk about the nuclear weapons can actually have the very air on fire, which is an element. It says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. And all this place is going to be dissolved. You know, uh, this place had the sins have reached onto the, the utmost heavens that the Lord has to literally totally cleanse this place through fire. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Verse 12, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, while Shem Yahshua, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Because it tells you in the scriptures that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And that's why this earth is suffering. And that's why so many people are miserable. It tells you in the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, uh, when the righteous are in the authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. If I probably butchered that, but the point is, you know, when righteousness is in authority, you know, uh, you know, with a righteous king, even if you're in suggestion to him, you know what I mean? That's probably why, like, when you go into, like, um, Israel, you know, like, when um, you had, like, Azazerses, um, Azazerus, Azazerses, or Xerxes, you know, uh, when he was in rulership, you know, because at one point he had the, the uh, Israelites in subjection. But I could see them not, like, really being, you know, um, all distraught like that. I mean, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, he still allowed them to keep their customs and, and, and whatnot, you know. Uh, you got to remember, Israel still had like a working government, you know, like the elder was going into, you know, when you had the corrupt um, Sadducees and Pharisees, they, they, they weren't just like these modern pastors. I mean, they lived in palaces and whatnot. They were quite well. Bear with me for a second. So lock it. Um, back in the scriptures. Um, the book of Zechariah, chapter 14. And the point is verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And again, what weapon can actually melt your very skin? It will melt your, your very tongue out of your mouth. <laughs> I see. Uh, ICBM, a nuclear missile, because the heat on a nuclear missile basically can compete with like the heat of the sun to a degree. You know, the, the Fahrenheit, the degrees, how hot it gets is, um, I don't know exactly, the elder, you know, that's that's me, you know, lightweight, not doing my due diligence, like, because I remember um, the elder going into it, it um, after camp, one of the lessons after camp, you know, it was breaking down how how long it would take, how many miles can uh, ICBM reach, and, and and all these different things. But a, a nuclear weapon gets very hot, so you know what I mean. That's why that's the weapon that'll be used to melt the very eyeballs and the very tongue. And they show you that scene the brothers reference it. You know, I, I remember um, when I first came to the truth and first met the camp. You know, um, they had the sign showing that picture of Sarah Connor um, holding onto that fence. Um, basically with her, her, her flesh being melted away and her bones being left, you know. Until basically that was um, disintegrated.
then you know uh, book of revelations I believe chapter and the number of the this is revelations 9 and 16 and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousands and I heard the number of them So Revelation 9 is basically going into those 200,000 thousands because those are the warheads that's inside the missiles. When you go into ICBM, you know, um, with 200,000 thousands is which literally like over 200 million because basically each ICBM actually has individual bombs within inside of it. So one ICBM can have 20 nuclear bombs within inside of it. You know what I mean? One final scripture to um, bring out. I'm headed to the plantation. I was trying to get this in before um, I stepped into the building. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 16, and the point is verse um, 15. For behold, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So you know, it's the scripture to talk about um, when the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach comes back. Will it be um will it be fire on the earth to um Will the fire be kindled? I Meaning, will it be a lit? And it's gonna already gonna be wars and, and and fighting going on. And then the Lord Yahusha Mashiach is gonna come with the chariots and bringing fire as well. You're gonna have the ICBMs. So you know, this place is gonna be devastated. And that's why the second death is this place is gonna is gonna not be drowned by water, but the second death is gonna be is gonna be consumed by fire. So if you're a so-called Black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, and you know you're getting the vibration, if it's truth. If it's resonating with you, I uh, implore you to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You will be destroyed. With that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to called Loyum by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim. Racha, God's for the thumb. I give honors to my apostles and to my elders, and men of the great millstone who do. Teach and do rule well. This is salutation to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations with whom subscribe to this truth. To you all say Shalom. Until next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. I'm going to say Shalom, Shalom. Mawath, Lababoa, Shalom.